Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Business Every Day. Today is super exciting because there is a new stock material here in the shop and we're going to be working with it. I have gone out and purchased some aluminum dog tags that we will be engraving today. I have also purchased some new V-bits. These are the blue coated hardened steel V-bits that I will have to add to easel and then we will get it all set up for engraving and if everything goes well, we won't destroy the X-carve and we won't destroy the aluminum dog tags and we'll end up with something that's actually pretty cool and amazing. So let's jump right on into calibrating the machine to now mill aluminum and see how that goes. So let's jump right in. what I have I built a little jig to hold the dog tag uh, just a little inset and then what I will do is this little piece right here I cut it just um, with a little bit of extra leverage and then I can clamp it down and hopefully this will keep the dog tag secure enough to where I can do repeated carves so we're gonna go into some testing and figure out uh, if this is actually gonna work so clamp and then move, swap, clamp, move, swap, clamp, and hopefully this works. Well, there's the first attempt. I can definitely tell you there are things I like about this and the things that are not working out. So the depth, I really, really like. Um, it's, you can feel it, but it's not too deep. I didn't penetrate through the bottom. Um, I did notice that my jig, things were able to move left and right. So that's not good. Um, you can see that I have the double, the lines here. Um, and that screwed up my date as well. So we're gonna do this again And I also noticed that the the lines are not exactly parallel. So I think my jig is off just a little bit um, on my I guess it's y-axis just a little bit. So I need to adjust the kilter and go at it again Okay, so a few modifications um, I have a piece of double-sided tape on the back of the dog tag. I switched the hole uh, from the right side to the left side and then I offset the jig so hopefully this will be enough to keep us in right working order let's give it a go Well, that didn't work. <laughs> uh, let's reset and try again.
Well, there you have it, guys. Another cut. And I think the best way I found to secure this piece of work is with a piece of blue tape and the jig. Repeat a cut, here we go. Insert material, scoot it all the way to the left. A little bit of tape. Scoot it to the left, lock it down. Let's go to software. Carve, material. It's secure, same bit, manual, use last position, skip, spindle, card. It's a little comparison here. Top and bottom. I think they look the same, so we're going to go for it. Here are my cut settings. So I'm doing a 25 inches per minute at a 3 inch plunge rate at a depth of 3 thousandths per pass. And I have found that is a little bit conservative, but I don't want to mess up this very thin piece of material. So these are what I'm going to go with. So what I can say about carving aluminum is that it takes so much longer than cutting wood, hardwood, MDF, acrylic, pretty much anything. Um, this little piece I did on MDF, it took less than a minute, and it takes about six minutes to do the same thing on the aluminum dog tag. So, I got 25 of these to make, so it's going to be a moment. So, let's just jump right on in. we started number two number three number four and now beautiful repetitive carves well there you go another project completed and we didn't destroy anything which I was not fully optimistic about when I first started because a new material a new bit set and you just really never know what's gonna happen but Nothing blew up, the X-Carve is okay. I got about a half a dozen of these things made. And the reason I actually did this project was because I wanted to work with a new stock material, new bits, and just increase my repertoire of things that I've done so that I can pull from that information. Here in the back next month or so, I'm gonna actually go out and start trying to get commission projects to increase my business and actually make some money doing this X-Carve thing. And I want to have all these different projects to pull from, all these different materials that I've already worked with so that when someone asks like, hey, can you do this for me? I can say, yes, I can. I've done this before. This is what I can show you. And I already have this portfolio built around projects that I've already done. So that's the reason that this project actually exists. But I learned a lot. I feel like my skill base has increased and I didn't break anything, which I'm super thrilled about. 
Stay tuned for some very fun and interesting projects coming down the pipeline. Uh, you're not going to want to miss out because I am just thrilled to be able to share them with you here in the next couple of weeks. And yeah, it's going to be good. It's going to be exciting. Thank you so much for tuning in and joining me on this journey. And your comments have been amazing. Thank you for the interaction. I'm super encouraged. And hopefully some of the information that I am learning in my process, in my journey, can help you out as well. So thanks for joining in and I will catch you next episode.